just to summarize a couple of things that, again, we've talked about, we're learning that taking action is more powerful than endless debate about transforming daunting obstacles into valuable lessons and learning experiences. We've recognized that striving for a perfect blueprint can be paralyzing, while focusing on realistic so solutions can drive progress and learning. We've also talked a lot about different aspects of logistics itself, from procurement, transportation, security, maintenance, membership, return policy, all of those things we address at least briefly. And those are the things that hopefully get you started in understanding how to understand how to view your logistics system in your specific community and what you can be looking out for. So our key takeaway question or take home question for you to reflect on for the rest of the week is what are your logistical wants and what are your logistical needs? So an example of how to think about this question, what your logistical wants and logistical needs are for us it became pretty clear that our imagination that this whole place might burn down, while it it very might very much might well be, but thinking about ham radio, thinking about like potentially not having internet, a lot of these things, and wanting to design an app, a lot of these things could potentially be logistical wants and not so much of logistical needs when people's power is just shut off. And how are we actually getting? our words out so people can actually get in touch with us so that we're not like cycle, circling, stuck in a spiral and circle of all these theoretical questions that gets us stuck because we cannot tell the difference between logistical wants and logistical needs. It's really hard to decipher between these two things, especially when, when we feel like emergency is so real because they are. But at the same time, we really just center what is it that our community needs today? What is it that we can do today to start practicing our muscle for sharing resources, start thinking about how we can engage in this conversation that our ancestors did, that created the situation that took hundreds of years to get us into agriculture. These conversations that get us going from one way of living to another is something that we need to start thinking about. And for us, we think being able to decipher between logistical wants and logistical needs can really help you get there. So we hope you can think about these, this takeaway question 